Good morning, good morning. Today we are going to go down the Strada da, Gra da Graciosa here from Curitiba to Morretes. It's a very old uh, road and uh, it crosses the, I think it's the, the most preserved area of the rainforest of Brazil. And it's very, very beautiful. You, and uh, if you want to check the images and uh, see how lovely and gorgeous it is, yeah, it's a, it's a nice place for you to visit. So follow us on that journey. Okay, I filled up the tank. Now we have 49 kilometers to go of beautiful rainforest and beautiful landscape of the most preserved area of the rainforest of Brazil. Very famous here, it's called uh, Graciosa Road and uh, yeah you have to take a little bit of the of the big the big highway here called uh, br 116 the one that links here curitiba to sao paulo but just a little bit of it and then we stop in the in the portal to take a picture traditional picture a lot of motorcycles coming too Oops. Hope the weather is good. But the weather here changed a lot. So we're going down the this this road until the coast of Paraná State. Oh here we can go to Florianópolis Portalegre. Let's go Juliana. And then we go to Uruguay in Argentina. 45 kilometers, very close. The sun is shining! Okay, so here we are. Up here. <laughs> okay, the first stop is in the portal. Oh, beautiful, beautiful portal. Yeah, with the camera. <sighs> okay, <laughs> let's make some pictures. Here we have the police. This road here was the first road that linked uh, Curitiba to the to the to the coast. Now they have they built another one. That goes faster, of course, but this was the first, the first one, and it helped a lot to the state of uh, Paraná to to export things because of the because of the coast there, so they could put on boats and ships and ship it around. That's why the, the, the this place here is a historical road. Look at this, look at this view. That 
natural reserves, sanctuary, little horses, beautiful flowers. What is the name of these flowers, Juliana? Hortenses. <laughs> I will put here if there is an English name for that. Ooh. Oh, look at the dog in the middle of the, the road. Hey, doggy! If you drink, don't drive. If you drag, don't drink. <laughs> Gracias is the name of the hill. Mohits is here already. Yeah, the Michigan Municipal. Municipality limits borders. There are a lot of places like this that you can, it's like a, a break. You can stop and take some pictures or eat. I don't know if we, we should. Goodness. Oh, there was a drop of rain on my mouth here. So beautiful, so preserved this part of the rainforest. My god. Look how beautiful this is. Hey? Okay. Oh, there's some waterfalls. Misty. There's another place, another how would you call a recanto? Because people people come here, there's like a barbecue grill and everything here. People come for uh, like the weekend and they just barbecue around. Yeah. You you can come early because during the the weekend there are a lot of people so it, it and it's free. So a lot of people come for barbecuing. All these uh, stops there, these breaks, they have barbecue grills, many of them. But it has to be like good weather. Look at the mist, how beautiful it is. Oh. Huge hill on the on the side here. So it's gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. There's a part of the of this hill that the um, the asphalt becomes a, a paving stone. You know, paving stones. Another one, another place for you to stop if you need. They also have sugarcane grinder or the sugarcane juice maker. Well, this is just for one car, maybe. Here, paving stones, Juliana. That's a little bit more dangerous when it's because it's more slippery. So we have to go slow, slower. <laughs> we put paving stones on the curves. So beautiful. There is one here that uh, the paving stone, the curve is so. It's like an elbow, elbows, elbow curve, and then they put a, a little part of uh, the asphalt in the middle. Another interesting interesting tour is go down this hill with a train that goes from Curitiba to, to Mojetes. It's beautiful also, the landscape. You can see the whole, uh, the whole uh, rainforest mountains and the train is also a historical train. And I think it's the, it's the only one in Brazil that goes like, goes down the hill by train, I think. One of the best trips we've ever done, yeah. So you can do this trip. This is also a very nice one with the, with the motorcycle, but with the train it's also cool. And then we came up this hill by van, but we didn't see a lot. Like we, like we can see now. And this part here is not so cool because it's, the road is too bumpy. Paved with paving stones, but maybe it's a yeah, historical preservation. Another resting area with a barbecue pit there. You cannot 
go camping here. But the rest you can do whatever you want. I think there are six of this uh, Recanto. So we gotta go very slow because it's wet. But it's not that bad. Oh, here's wet too. Imagine this place here on a on a sunny Sunday. I I've seen I've seen some videos that they they are like traffic, you know, going down and going up. We just met some guys from Mato Grosso do Sul. And then they've been going around with their BMWs and we were told that there is a oil spill on the road that, and these oil spills are the, are the ones that can make your motorcycle drop yeah this spill can knock us down and uh, but if it's if it's in a yeah if it's in the curve of course if it's in a in a straight line there's no problem Very nice place, everybody stops here. There's uh, some snack bars, coconut, and what do you say? Coxinha of? Manioc coxinha. Uh, here is the bridge, the old bridge. Everybody takes a picture here. Now, yes. Welcome to my Do you want to stop somewhere? Yeah. Here there is one. There. It's not. Ah, the train. The train station. Historical like old houses, yeah, beautiful places. Now, look at the house here. Casa Rome. Here we are in Mojetes in the historical center. There are a lot of uh, little shops with uh, handicraft and stuff like this, but it's uh, yeah. And then there's a river here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the river uh, near here. And uh, today the weather is great. It's actually very very hot, but I don't know if 
uh, it's going to be like this for the whole day. Yeah, this is a historical place here in, uh, in the, 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 the coast of Paraná, near Curitiba. It was just uh, 45 kilometers, but uh, the road, uh, Graciosa Road, is an interesting place for motorcycles and cars. And uh, it was not so full today, but it's always very, the, the traffic is crazy. And, uh, but, it's, uh, but it's nice, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's an interesting uh, trip you know for you to do by car even by car it would be nice and also by train as i mentioned before okay so this is it i'm going to show you a little bit of the the city and this uh, beautiful old uh, houses where it, most of them are restaurants selling shrimps and seafood in general and also uh barriado. Handicraft? No, yes, arts and crafts and arts and crafts and ice cream shops. Ah, ice cream shops. Sorry. Yes, so many. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, today there aren't so many tourists here. It's a uh, Wednesday. I think everybody was like afraid of the the weather, but oh look, there's another one called Madalo. Ah, Madaloso. There. Let's try to find some souvenirs for our daughters. As Juliana said, it's a toll that we have to pay to have a trip like this by ourselves. And then we pay a toll. We buy a little gift. Un regalo. Vediamo cosa possiamo comprare qua. Ciao, ci sono molte cose da comprare. Ma va bene. Questo fiume qua è molto bello. E, e mi sembra che le persone vanno nelle, nelle fiumi per osso per anche per per fare un bagno per sì mi sembra un po' pulito non lo so it looks clear it looks clean right yeah so here's a little bit of a part of this the river here where they have these uh, tables and of course a lot of uh, restaurants where they serve uh, bahiado uh, that typical food from here and also like uh, some uh, some seafood but as you can see the river is really beautiful and clean and people come for swimming sometimes I saw a guy just uh, he was swimming here yeah it's a little bit dangerous maybe with this uh, whirlpool and all these things around but yeah I don't think it's like really 100% clean but people people swim here These are the typical pans for you to, to make that food called barriado, as I said. I don't know if it's made of mud or clay. Okay, so now we are going to Antonina. We just left Mojetes, as you could see in the images before. But I had forgotten to plug, plug in the, the microphone. So I was speaking, but you couldn't hear my voice. It's just uh, 15 kilometers, it's just uh, 9.8 kilometers to go. So it's very fast. Antonina is right, right, it's right on the coast of Paraná, and also historical city. And we don't know if we're going to have something to eat there, or we're coming back to Mojeches. We don't know yet. So we went to Mojetes, we went to Antonina and now we are coming back to the hotel. It was a great day, the weather was good and now we are going back through Graciosa Road, winding road. 
hope you have liked it hope you enjoy subscribe to the channel if you can and there will be more and more information in english for you vocabulary and beautiful places to visit thank you very much and i'll see you soon Ooh.